We're going to look at graphing straight lines, linear equations, when they're a little bit harder, and some strategies that will help us make sure we get the right answer. So we're going to make sure we're practicing using our calculator so that our negatives are correct, and some checks that we can do to make sure we've done the right thing. So here we've got y equals 3x minus 2. Now there's some words we need to remember. There's the coefficient of x. Now the coefficient of x means the number that's in front of the x. In this case it's 3. When I've got 3x, that means 3 times x. So when we're filling in our table of values, I'm going to multiply 3 by whatever x is, and then I'm going to take away 2. Now, a really good strategy is if you're not sure on a line, actually do some working. So I'm going to move this over. y equals 3x minus 2. And we've got to remember that 3x means 3 times x. So we start when x is 0. And so what I'm going to do is y will be 3 times 0 take away 2. Because all I'm doing is saying, well, at the moment, what if x is 0? Now, a really good idea is just to practice using your calculator. So I've got to do 3 times 0 minus 2. 3 times 0 take away 2, negative 2. Done. I've done what y would be if x was 0. Now what if x was 1? It's this same sum, but now I'm going to do y equals 3 times 1 take away 2. Now we can do it in our heads. 3 times 1 is 3. Take away 2 is 1. But you're welcome to use the calculator. So 3 times 1, take away 2, it's 1. If you think you're not sure whether you're going to get it right, use the calculator. You don't need to write the working, but sometimes it helps. Now, what if x is 2? y will be 3 times 2 take away 2. So I'm going back to this rule every time. y is 3 times whatever x is take away 2, because that's the rule we're graphing. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 will be 4. But if we're not certain, grab the calculator. 3 times 2 minus 4. Oops, minus 2. Minus 2. I did it wrong. Now see how thinking it through first and then checking it with the calculator meant that when I got something wrong, I could see I had two different answers. And oh man, I'm so silly. 3 times 2 take away 2. That's it. I'm four. It's 4. I got the right thing. So by predicting it in your head, and then checking with the calculator, you can be really sure you've got the right answer. So let's predict 3x is 3 times x, so x is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 to take away 2 should be 7. Let's check this. 3 times 3 take away 2, 7. Now where this is really useful is checking that your negatives are right because we're not as good sometimes at multiplying with negatives. So we could do it in our head. 3 times negative 1 would be negative 3. Take away another 2 would be negative 5. But check it with your calculator. y will be 3 times negative 1. Take away 2. Put it in. 3 times, use the negative key for negative 1. Take away 2 negative 5. I was right and I know I'm right. So you don't have to write down the working, but if you find you're not getting them right, do it. It'll help. Now, the checks. First question. 
is, is the coefficient of x positive or negative? So we said the coefficient of x is 3 here, the number in front of the x, and it's positive. There's no negative in front of it. It's positive, and what that means is your graph will slope up. So from left to right, it'll go up across the page. When we do a negative 1, you'll see it slopes down. So that's one check. Now, is the pattern in the table the same as the coefficient of x? What's it going up by here? That was plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. Now that's one check. These all have to be going up by the same amount, and it has to be that number there. If it's going up by that number there, you're right. If the number, the coefficient of x, is negative, guess what? This will go down. So, that's the first check. Have I got the coefficient right? Is this the same as this pattern? Are we all going up by the same amount here? And another little check you can do is when x is 0, is the y value, negative 2, the same as the number that's on its own in the rule? Negative 2. That should be the same. If there's no number on its own, I should see a zero. Yes, it's the same. So, lots of checks you can do to make sure you're doing it right. Plot your points. Negative one, negative five. Zero, negative two. One, one, two, four, three, seven. Do all the points make a straight line? If they make a straight line, then well done. We've done it right. If they don't make a straight line, something's gone wrong. Go back and see which point isn't in a line and which thing might you have done wrong. Recheck your calculations or your plotting of your points. Put your line through, put your arrows on, write your rule. So there's a lot of steps just to make sure we're doing everything really perfectly. Let's do a negative, a negative coefficient of x1. So I'm going to have to do negative 2 times x plus 4. Start with the 0. Use your calculator. If there's any negatives involved, just get the calculator out. Negative 2 times x. Now x we start with x is 0, negative 2 times 0 plus 4. Oops, that's not a 4. 4. Now x is 1. Negative 2 times 1 plus 4 is 2. Now x is 2. Negative 2 times 2. Use the negative key. Negative 2 times 2 plus 4. We're just typing this rule in with a different value of x each time. 0. Get when x is 3. Negative 2 times 3 plus 4. Negative 2. Now, when we've got the negatives involved, remember this should be the last one so that you can see the pattern. This is going down by twos here. What's this going to be? It's going to be six. That's the only thing that can fit in with that pattern. But let's check. Negative two times x is negative one plus four. Six. Hey, I'm right. Now check. Is the coefficient of x positive or negative? It is negative two. It's negative, and that says my graph will slope down across the page. So that's a useful check. Is the pattern in the table the same as the coefficient of x? What's happening here? Minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. It's always the same as the coefficient of x. Yes. When x equals 0, is the y value the same as the number on its own in the line? Yes. So that all tells us the same pattern, the 
coefficient matches the pattern, the number on its own is turning up where x is 0, that all tells us we've done it right. Plot your points. Negative 1, 6, 0, 4, 1, 2, 2, 0, 3, negative 2. Do all the plot points make a straight line? Yes. And look, my line slopes down across the page from left to right. And that was, the coefficient is negative, my graph will slope down. So it does it go the right way? Yes. Label the line, y equals negative 2x plus 4. Okay, Let's just use the calculator, get your points right, graph them correctly. Last one. Now this is a funny one because we've got y equals negative x. Man. But with a calculator, it's okay. If you want, you can say that's negative 1x because if there's no number, there'd be a 1. But let's see how we do this. When x is 0, negative x, so that's negative, oh, there's a bell, sorry, 0 plus 1. We've got 1. Negative. So x is 1, but I want negative x. So it's negative 1 plus 1, 0. x is 2, but I want negative x. Negative 2 plus 1, negative 1. Keep typing them in. x is 3, but I want negative 3. Negative 3 plus 1, negative 2. Now I'll have to get out because there'll be a class in here. But we plot the pattern. The coefficient of x is negative. It'll slope down. 0, 1. 1, 0. 2, negative 1. 3, negative 2. It'll be okay if you just use your calculator and follow the steps. Graph your line. Put in the arrows. This is y equals negative x plus 1.